here from Pentaho Sporting Optics. We got a two for one special today. We're going to do a torture test on this element Titan. And we're also going to show his OMR barrel after it's got broken in how well it shoots. Been having a lot of good luck with this barrel uh, grouping at 100. Uh, we stretched it out to 847 yards on last video. And uh, yeah, results were good. So I'm really, really liking this barrel. What we're going to do is I've got a dock set up down there. I'm going to twist the turrets on this thing. We're going to see it, make sure it returns to zero with a center fire. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be mean to it and see what happens. Stand by. In case anybody's wondering, this is a different load that I was running the other day. This is a bargain load. Let's find the spot target there. Make sure everything is zero, and it is. So this is going to be cold bore. We're going to see where I'm at. So that's why I said a two for one kind of. This is cold bore. It's not been shot at all today. These are some rounds I've been working with here. This is uh, three pounds fired brass. Here we go. center, just a little bit high of center. So we're going to take this and we're going to turn it. Let me zoom it in here so you can see what's going on. Got my new clicker. Okay. Uh, warning, don't do this at home. Now, can we do the windage? Yeah, we should do the windage. Oh, yeah. All right. It'd be nice to have the windage in there, right? We'll see where this one goes. Let's back out a little bit. Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right, let's see where this one goes. Get comfortable here in my gun level. I was pretty rough on it there. I actually knocked it out of level. Now guys, I wasn't be easy. I wasn't being easy there. I was being pretty rough. Tell this barrel shooting. I mean, that's right there by the same hole. I'm gonna do it again. Run this thing. Everything's back on zero, so let's uh, let's try it again here and see what happens. Got it, guys. <laughs> All I can tell you is that uh, I kind of have a new love. It is a six by forty-seven. 
Too bad I'm going to be pulling the scope off. Let me put the knife force on here. I really like this scope. It just doesn't have quite enough power for me. Um, I'm used to shooting higher magnification, a wider magnification range. And I know when I'm shooting matches, I don't go up that high, but boy, when you're out doing like what we're doing with that pop can challenge, that extra magnification really does help. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch shooters here. I'm going to back shoot it and see if he can't do the same thing I'm doing. I'm going to let him rotate the turret. Now, the cheek wall man thing's a little bit different, but we're going to see what his three shot group lands. See if he can make a three shot group down there like I did. Ready for that? Yeah. On the winded shirt, just make sure you don't go past zero. You're shooting at the orange dot? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see? That's not true. <laughs> I can be rougher than that, Zach. Yeah. Don't pop it at the top, you know, but we're doing more here than any normal person's ever going to do to a scope like that. You can tell he's being pretty rough there. All right. Just don't lose your rotation there. Yeah. And we're back. Okay. What do you think about that scope so far, Zach? I think it looks really great at 100 yards, especially. Um, we're just finding stuff on paper. It looks really great right now because it's brighter outside. Uh, trying to shoot the other day, I think it was a little cloudy, a little gloomy. So, I think my first impressions of it, looking at it the other day when we were shooting at the pop can, I didn't like it quite as much uh, because I thought it was a little darker. But I think that was general condition. It looks really great right now, and I really do like that reticle. Maybe at uh, a little longer ranges, that reticle might be just a little thick on 18 power versus having uh, like a 5 to 25 or wider mag range um, on a like an 18 power. So you had a 25 max magnification, you were shooting at 18 power, the reticle is going to be smaller than the one in this uh, just because it's not at its full magnification. So it might be a little easier for those. Tiny yeah, I agree with that 100%. Because when I had it zoomed in out there at 8, uh, 847 mm -hmm. on the can, that dot in the center was as big as my can. Yeah. yeah. yeah and on my, on my strike eagle at 18 power, my dot was about three quarters as much as the can, but that makes all the difference in the world when you're trying to spot a target in range. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. <clears throat> all right, just remember that's not for sale. Okay. Where'd that go? Took a while to
<laughs> We're on a five shot group now, two different shooters. <laughs> That's going to be one you want to take a picture of. <laughs> if I can't uh, keep this last shot in the group here. The scout's doing his job. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, for the money, I really think that scope, for the money, I like it. Um, I wish the reticle wasn't quite as thick, but if I was going to D it on anything, it would be just the thickness of the reticle. I think the power magnification really is great. I think the glass is pretty good. I just think the reticle is a little thick for my liking, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, if you used it for hunting and not shooting seven and a half ounce cans at 847 yards. <laughs> that might make a big difference, right? <laughs> That was about uh, about a half MOA target at that range. Oh, it was less than that. About, that can about, was, about three and a half tall, so a little yeah. less than half MOA target. Yeah, tall wise, but width wise. Width wise, it was about a quarter minute. Quarter minute, yeah. Good trigger control. Six shots, too. Dang, boys! Dang! Uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, you've seen what's going on down range. I don't know if my GT shoot that well. I'm serious. I don't know if my GT shoot that well. Dude, it's crazy. I mean, I did a little bit of low development, it wasn't a lot, but I knew when I got into that second fire brass, yeah. this is actually three times fire brass. Yeah. I knew it shoot better. I kind of want to put a sticker up and see how my GT would shoot compared to that six-shot group. Okay, do you want to do that? We'll I do think it. that's shooting better than the GT, seriously. You think it's, it's shooting better than that gun there? Yeah, well, I was just going to say, as far as comparison, like, this is a rifle that's set up for F-Class. It Ooh. weighs twice as much. Its barrel is, is four inches longer, weighs like five pounds extra because it's steel instead of carbon fiber. I mean, like, what more do you want? What more could you need? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to do that real quick. We're going to look, we're going to stretch this video out just a little bit longer. Uh, we're going to pause the video right here. We're going to set up a sticker down range uh, for Zach to shoot at with his GT, and we're going to go from there. <clears throat> All right, guys, this is my 6GT. Set up for F class. Uh, this is a defined tenacity benchmark image style barrel, uh, and this is and the foundation MG2 with the Citron S3S H32, about 56 on top. I've been shooting F class with this gun for quite a while, and uh, I deemed it named tenacious because every time I go to a match, it seems like I upgrade something on this. It keeps coming back. I've won uh, one medal in this thing while it was in like its first configuration. Um, but since then, I've just been playing with it, kind of getting into PRS a while. And I haven't really shot that many groups with this thing besides that matches. So it wouldn't surprise me if it's shooting better than I think it is. But that 6x47 would do it really surprise me. Again, so. We're going to do our best to see how good of a group I can shoot off with a fancy cannon here. And, uh, I guess you guys will see how it goes. All right. I'm going to do six shots then. And I guess I probably need to put ears in, huh? That would suck. That would suck big time. Ruin my night. You go home with your ears a buzzing. I know. <clears throat>
zero is on. I think it is. If that's shooting as good as this, this uh, full contour blank, then I don't know what else to say. I think it's shooting good. Just a uh, really quick comparison again, guys. This this gun weighs right at 11 pounds with with a big heavy scope on it. This gun weighs right at about 20. Loaded it up how it is. So just a quick comparison between like a Predator rifle. You can see the accuracy it had. And then a full on F class rifle. Okay. Anyways, guys, we're going to stop the video here. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, this, this gun again was, uh, was chambered by Aries uh, LLC out of Jeff City. So Aries Custom Rifles. Um, that is an OMR. Um, they only have one contour that I know of. That's a 22 inch 6x47 McClure barrel. And this is a benchmark barrel. It's a really, really high quality barrel. We use these in S class all the time. And uh, we play with them all the time. Um, this kind of gives you an idea of the quality of that OMR barrel, okay? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.